All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Also, want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that's serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom, and I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp, and I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. And I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right, in today's lesson, I will start at um, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 6, and it reads, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, and I'm going to look up that word contentment. Strong's G, 841. Austarkaya. All right, and it reads, a perfect condition of life in which no aid or support is needed. It says sufficiency of the necessities of life, a mind content with its lot contentment. You see, and we got to be content, you know. It, with, with, with the lot that Yahweh Bashem al gave us, you know, we got to be content with the things that Yahweh Bashem al blessed us with. You know, you might have a, a, a decent car, man. All right. You got to be content with the with, with the things that, that you have. All right. You might have a house, you know, or apartment or 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 or, or whatever you have, man. You know, we got to be content with the things that Yahweh Bashem al gave us. OK, because we got to understand that at the end of the day, this is not our kingdom, man. Okay, and this is not our rest. Okay, this is not our comfort. Okay, and we just got to be grateful for the things that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai gave us. Be satisfied. Okay, because this world they teach you, you know, that you got to have, you know, um, um, a ten a ten car garage house. You know, you got to have five bathrooms and, and and ten bedrooms. You know, you got to have the 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 brand new. You got to have a brand new car. You know. You can't get caught up with the things of this world, man. All right. And um, I'm going to keep reading this first Timothy six and six. I'm going to read that again. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. You see, so when we came out of our mother's womb, OK, we didn't we, we didn't have anything. You know, we didn't have diamond diamonds in our teeth. You know, we didn't have uh, um, money and all these things. Uh, uh, material things Okay So just like how we brought Nothing into this world And it says It is certain We can carry nothing out Alright So these uh, Different riches That, that you see these uh, Different people have These celebrities Alright And even people That we meet In our day to day Alright They might have The uh, brand new Maserati You know uh, They might have You know All these women And in, 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 uh, gold And diamonds And, and, and all these material things all right we can't take none of these things with us okay and and you got to focus on you know what's really important okay this wisdom knowledge your understanding man this is this is the most precious thing on the face of this earth all right regardless of what these people think regardless of how these people uh feel about it okay it does say of the lord okay this is proverbs 3 in verse 13, happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that get it understanding. OK, so happy is the man that findeth wisdom, man. OK, and we got the we got the so we got the most supreme wisdom on the face of this earth, man. OK, we got the wisdom from of, of Yahweh by Shema was shy, man. All right. We understand, you know, life. Okay, we understand, you know, how this world works. We understand, you know, the thoughts of Yahweh by Shema was shy. OK. These people, man, they don't understand, you know, the, uh, they haven't been given this gift that, 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 that we have. OK, so happy is the man that, that findeth wisdom, man. All right. Because regardless of how these celebrities look, you know, the facade that they paint, these these uh, celebrities are really miserable, man. OK, and, uh, young, uh, young Ma, young M.A., whatever. How the hell you say her name? You know, she just checked in the rehab. Okay, you got these celebrities on drugs, 
all right they 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 they're depressed they're going through different divorces you know these celebrities are really miserable at the end of the day man okay because they don't have the wisdom knowledge or understanding okay and john 8 and 32 says ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free man all right we got the truth man all right we're free through the spirit and power of yahweh shema shai man okay we know our um we know the the names of our lord and savior all right we got direct access to to, to the heavenly father and his only begotten son okay we know what's pleasing in the sight of him all right we know what's required out of us you know and um verse 14 it says for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold so this wisdom knowledge understanding is more precious than gold more precious than silver okay it's more precious than anything on the face of this earth man okay and we're and we're coming into a time where this wisdom knowledge understanding you know you, you, uh um this wisdom knowledge understanding okay it's going to be it's going to be uh taken away from these people man okay you're not gonna be able to go on the internet and find this word okay you're not gonna be able to go to the highways and byways you know and seek and seek this word okay so this this wisdom knowledge understanding man is more precious than anything that you can get man all right because all all the riches that you i mean all these things that you can get all right can be bought man all right this wisdom knowledge understanding can't be bought okay it's a, it's a gift given from you how about shemel shot man okay and it's only given to his elect okay you can go out and buy a, a car man you can save up and buy a car you can save up and buy gold okay in um, verse 15, it says, She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. So this wisdom and understanding is more precious than anything, you know, more precious than anything. Nothing can be compared to this wisdom and knowledge of understanding, man. Okay? And this and this wisdom and knowledge of understanding is given to the to the meek and the lowly, man. Okay? But in the time that we're coming into, okay, this is what's going to keep us stable. Okay? This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time. All right? It ain't talking about the wisdom of this world. All right? It ain't talking about uh, the, the wisdom that you get in these colleges and different universities. All right? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this Bible. That's what's going to keep you stable in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? Because uh, because when it's complete lawlessness out in these streets, all right, these people are going to be running around like a chicken with their head cut off. All right? LeBron James. All right? He ain't going to be stable in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, uh, Creflo Dollar, he ain't gonna be stable in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, uh, um, Mike Tyson and, uh, and, and and Floyd Mayweather and Jay Z, you know, all these celebrities, all these niggas, they got fame, they got wealth, they're not gonna be stable in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, and uh, let me get another precept. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. You see, so your riches will not profit you in the day of wrath, man. Okay, and it says, but righteousness delivered from death, man. You see, and, and, and that's the path that we on, man. Okay, we're on the path to eternal life. And we know what's righteous. Okay, we're not leaning on to our own understanding. All right, we know what's righteous in the sight of your Yahweh Shemel Shai, man. All right, keeping his law, attached to commandments, going out to the highways and byways, feeding his sheep, making your call and election sure. All right, making your body a living sacrifice. All right, and we're doing what's pleasing in the sight of you. How about Shmuel Shai, man? Okay, and in 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 time of Jacob trouble, man. The Lord says He gonna make His elect more precious than fine gold, man. All right, so this so this so what we're laboring for right now. All right, it's gonna pay off in the time of Jacob trouble, man. Okay, and it says uh, this is Isaiah thirteen and twelve. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. All right, this ain't talking about any man. This is talking about the Israelite man, all right? And, and even more particular, the, the man of the Lord, man. All right, the man that's making their body a living sacrifice, all right? The man that's um, going out to the highways and byways, all right? They're going to be made more precious than fine gold, all right? Even even more precious than the go golden weight of, uh, of Ophir, man. And that's the finest gold, man. All right, the Lord going to make us more precious than these than anything on the face of the earth man all right these these people are not gonna be running to uh to joel osteen they're not gonna be running to floyd mayweather they're, they're not gonna be running to jay-z in the time of, uh, of jacob trouble when it's martial law on these streets all right when it's complete chaos these people are not going to be running to these celebrities man they're gonna be running to the men of the lord man 
all right because we're gonna be stable man all right we we we, we gonna um we, we gonna have a glow about us man all right these other niggas man are gonna be like chickens with their head cut off man not knowing what's going on man okay and um so we, we gotta stay you know we gotta stay uh locked in man all right you know don't care about I mean don't 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 care about you know um things that's going on around us man you know we got to stay in, in tunnel vision man all right keep our eye on the prize all right this is first corinthians 7 and 31 and they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passes away all right the fashion of this world is going to pass away man all right you know esau ruling all right you, you see these two-third uh jakes um getting all the fame they got all the money they're praising this society all right you know the wicked you know are glorified all right little nas x all over social media man like 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 that nigga um is, is on a level man all right that nigga is is wicked all right he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna um die a grievous death man all right so don't worry about you know the things that we see okay because the fashion of this world passed away man all right p diddy your 50 cents all right little nas x you know your little dirks and trippy reds all right all these niggas man are going to be least in the kingdom of heaven man okay you know we just got to stay locked in man you know keep uh uh keep serving the lord all right keep giving all praises to your how about you know keep making these lessons keep going out to the highways and byways all right the, this work that we're doing is not going in vain man okay get another precept this is hebrews 6 and 10 for the for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed towards his name and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister all right so you Basham about outside he's not unrighteous to forget our work man and our labor of love all right the lord sees us man okay you got angels um encamped around about us all right um watching our every move Okay, they see us out, out on the highways and byways. They see us making these videos. They see us making our bodies a living sacrifice. So this work that we're doing is not gonna it's not gonna go in vain, man. All right? But we gotta keep enduring to the end. All right. The script says, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Okay, so we gotta keep, we gotta keep enduring, man. All right, we gotta keep fighting the good fight of faith, man. Okay? And um This is uh Matthew. Chapter 16 and verse verse 25 for whosoever will save his life shall lose it and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right. So all these niggas, man. All right. They're standing in the world. All right. They're 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 they're, they're trying to save. They're, they're, they're trying to save their life. Ultimately, you're going to lose your life, man. OK, so you got to You got to be willing to forsake your, your, your dreams. All right. Your, your, your aspirations. You know what you wanted to do. All right, you got to forsake your will and and do the will of your how about she man shy man. Okay, you got to make your body a living sacrifice, man. Okay, and if you and if you are willing to forsake this life, man. All right, the Lord gonna bless you a uh, hundredfold, man. Okay, because uh, the men that's forsook this life, all right, they, they're gonna be the next kings and rulers, all right, and governors, man. Okay. We're going to be the new celebrities, all right? But you got to be willing to forsake this life, man, okay? And that takes faith, okay? And this is what you got to have your mind on, man, okay? You got to be willing to forsake everything on, on, on this side, man, all right? To receive Yahweh by Shema Shai, man, okay? And the Lord going to bless us in the kingdom, okay? So that was just a short lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that are serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom at the water. Yahweh Bashim now was shy for putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. Lord willing to the next lesson, I'm gonna say Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.